Welcome back to cgaming.com. I'm Kevin, and here is my video review for Virtua Tennis 3 for the Xbox 360. The game is also out on the PS3, but both games are basically the same, except there is an online mode only on the 360 version. Right from the start, Virtua Tennis 3 is a very solid game. It has 1080p support, and it's probably the best game in the series. Other than that, it's still a tennis game, which makes it very, very simplistic. You press a button, and your player hits the ball. It's almost as easy as that. Of course, Sega has included a thorough single-player career, a decent creative player feature, and it also has an online mode that enables your character to play online as well. The World Tour mode is where you'll be spending most of your time at, because it basically has everything you can think of in a tennis game minus an online mode. It consists of creating a player, building your player's stats up, and winning more tournaments. Creating a player is pretty basic, with a handful of choices you can make from, including what your face looks like, what clothes you can wear, and what styles of serving and hitting your characters can make. Next, you can move on to either the pro tournaments or the 10 new minigames on the two classic modes. These minigames allow your character to level up different stats and it's essential for later tournaments. Some games include trying to gather fruit while dodging giant tennis balls. There's also an alien attack space invaders type game. Uh, there's a game where you have to try to hit targets to get the most points. And another game is where you can have to knock down a tower of barrels. After, you can get into the tournaments and increase your rank by winning matches. These matches themselves are either single or double matches, and it's pretty basic and will keep you busy for half of the time. As for the basic structure of the World Tour mode, by playing others in practice sessions, you'll learn their styles of play on the various courts and you'll upgrade stats after each session. Because the World Tour is based on a timetable, you'll only have certain opportunities to play games or tournaments, so you'll have to use your time wisely. Another thing you have to worry about is the stamina meter, because the more you play, the more you'll need to rest and refill it in order to avoid injuries. Once you get past the career mode, you can go online on Xbox Live and play singles, doubles, and even minigame matches. It definitely takes more skill to play against a human rather than a computer AI because the AI in the game isn't all that great. Love. The graphics and sound are what you would expect a next-gen tennis game would look and sound like. The game definitely looks solid at 1080p, and the character models look sort of realistic. Overall, if you're looking for a tennis game to play, Virtua Tennis 3 is a great choice to go with. It plays well and has some cool mini-games to play. Check it out. We give it an 8.0 out of 10. For more video reviews, previews, and videos, head on over to cgaming.com.